Hello, I've got a craft market coming up and I haven't got very much stock for it. So I thought today I'd paint some of these acrylic gouache bird cards. This is an example of, well, this is the last one that I've got left. And it was basically just me having a play around with acrylic gouache and coming up with very random looking brightly coloured birds. So I'm just going to make some more of those and I thought I'd video some snippets. The birds are all going to be cut out, so it doesn't matter too much um, what paper they're on. So all I'm going to do is just, again, because it's going to be cut out, it doesn't matter t too much how accurate they are. So I'm just sketching a very um, rough bird outline. And I'm just going to do a few of those, like all on one page. I just remembered that last time I did this, I made a template for the birds, so that's good. <laughs> I can just draw around it. I don't mind leaving a few gaps because I've got wings to do as well. So like I stick the birds on with um, adhesive foam pads and the wing is a separate piece, again stuck on with foam pads. Mm -hmm. I'm just using a tear off more, like waterproof paper palette for my acrylic paints. So I'm using my um, Holbein acrylic gouache uh, paints. So I've I've had the 30, I think it's the 36 pack, and then I've got like a tub of loose additional ones that I've bought. So I'm just going to have fun with colour really. We'll see what random birds we get. I'm mixing the acrylic wash with a little bit of water. but it's still nice and opaque to cover pencil lines. I think this is one of my favourite acrylic, acrylic wash colours. It's the ice green. Um, let's do some bodies. And the thing that I like about the acrylic wash is that although they dry matte, they've got that acrylic finish, which means they can't be re-wet once they're dried. So it's great for layering up other colours on top. These birds are definitely a case of where you have to trust the process a bit because they tend to look... I mean, the finished product isn't everyone's taste, but in the middle they look especially bad. I don't have any particular plan here, I'm just um, blocking in sections of the birds. I'll just show you these. I swatched out my acrylic wash paints um, a little while back. And so I've got the um, the mass tone here on the left of each column and then I mixed it with different proportions of titanium white. I like having the colour chart out on the side so I can just go, go straight to the type of colour I'm looking for. I'm not doing any mixing with white um, for these birds though. That's one of the reasons that I buy some of the more pastel toned colours so that I can avoid pre-mixing and just go straight to them. It's 
my t-shirt colour today. This stage makes them look awful. <laughs> So I'm just putting some details on the birds now, um, and this is with a Rosemary & Co. Um, like synthetic uh, filbert. So I'm just using like an, a really old De La Rowney, don't even know where this one came from, um, like a liner brush and I'm just adding on some detail to the wings. I'm not exactly spending much time at all thinking about colour choices or placement or anything. Okay, so at this point it's looking pretty grim. Um, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll go in with Posca pens and add some more details. Okay, they're all dry now, so next step, step is to just cut them out. It's quite a labour intensive exercise in some ways, but I don't mind doing a few cards like this for each craft market, partly because I enjoy them and partly because people always seem to smile when they see them. It's really nice. Okay, then I've got some blank craft paper cards and a stamp set from Tim Holtz, Stampers Anonymous. And I'm just going to make happy birthday cards today. Um, I put my cards on a, a little foam block just to even out any lumps from the table. And I've got some um, Stephanie Bernard inks. I used to be on Stephanie Bernard's design team um, for her company, so I've got I've got all of her inks um, and refills that probably last me for a long time. 
Whoops, I won't use that one. It's running out a bit, so I'm just gonna rink it, rink it a bit. Help it in. Oh my gosh. I'm so messy. Right, try again. And then I, um, I've i got an assortment of foam pads I'm just using up. Pop the bird on. Mm. And give them a wing. And then using the same colour as the ink and the beak and just painting on some legs. So I've got the stickers on the back uh, saying who made the cards. I use the um, craft, the brown craft paper, just to kind of balance out the garishness of the birds, I guess. So, that's what I've been up to today. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. Bye!